Hello everybody and welcome, this is Spoonie with another shipbuilding tutorial for Starbase. In this video, we're going to quickly go over memory chips. I'm going to show you how they work and what you can use them for. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to need a text panel, and I'm just going to change the panel value name to the word battery. Next, on a YOLO chip, I'm just going to create a quick YOLO script that would add the value of two batteries, one which is named battery1, and another that's named battery2. And remember that these colons mean that the value is a permanent value. A permanent value means it's stored somewhere on the ship outside of the YOLO chip. If there's no colon, it means it's a temporary value and is only stored and able to be referenced by that YOLO chip. So next, we'll add go to one on this first line just so that it's only reading this line of YOLO. And we'll go into test mode. And as you can see, the panel is not updating. That's because I left battery as a temporary value. If I change this to a permanent value by adding a colon, then you'll see that the value of battery is now displayed correctly on the text panel. But let's say that we didn't have a text panel that was storing the value of battery, but we still wanted to be able to reference it in a different YOLO chip or for some other reason. We could do that using a memory chip. What we would do is put a colon to change this temporary value into a permanent value, and then go into our YOLO memory chip and change one of the chip value fields to the word battery. Now, when we go into test mode, we can see that the YOLO memory chip is storing the value of battery. Unlike temporary values, permanent values cannot be defined and then referenced later on the YOLO chip unless they are stored somewhere outside of the YOLO chip. To give you a quick example of this, we're going to change the value of battery to just equal the number 10. We'll add go to one so that it only reads this line. And then in test mode, you can see that on the text panel, battery is reading out the number 10. So what we'll do is we'll change the value of battery from being permanent value battery to temporary value B. Then on the second line of YOLO, we'll have it read the permanent value of battery is equal to the temporary value of B. We'll go back into test mode. And you can see this still functions. But let's see what happens if we change the temporary values of B into permanent values by adding a colon. In test mode, you can see that this no longer functions. That's because these permanent values B are not stored anywhere on the ship outside of this YOLO chip. And because the YOLO chip itself does not store permanent values, these values are not being read. However, if we go into our memory chip and we create the value B, we can see that the memory chip is now storing the value of B, which allows this to function once again. 